Okay, I think we have a quorum to get started here. Uh, thank you all for joining today's webinar, How Integrated Scheduling Can Improve On-Time Service and Remove Traditional Scheduling Bottlenecks. We're really excited to have you all with us today. We think it's going to be a great webinar. Uh, I'm your host, Matt Fleming. With me today are Hunter Yaw, uh, VP of Product at LoadSmart, as well as Bob Lelogia, CEO of OpenDoc. There are just a couple quick housekeeping items before we get started. Number one, uh, this webinar is being recorded and an on-demand version will be sent out as soon as the live webinar is uh, concluded. We're also gonna be taking a Q&A at the very tail end of the webinar for about 10 minutes. You can enter your questions in the ask a question box in the GoToWebinar panel, should be on the right-hand side of your screen. And then lastly, if we do not get to your question uh, during the Q&A session, don't worry, someone from LoadSmart or OpenDoc will be following up with you. Uh, all that being said, uh, I will hand this over to Bob and uh, you can give a little bit of an intro to the partnership. Yeah, absolutely. So a couple of bullets here on what OpenDoc is. So OpenDoc is essentially a doc scheduling platform. And um, <clears throat> to kind of walk through these, these bullets here. So it allows carriers to book specific appointment times with warehouses. So a warehouse will set up their schedule, their availability, and the brokers or carriers will actually book appointments right into that schedule. Now, now, there's a couple of ways you can do that because not all warehouses operate the same way. So some, for example, will have specific schedules for every single doc. Um, others will do it a little bit differently. Others will just allow X number of trucks per, per hour, per half an hour, and then they'll assign the doc um, as the trucks arrive. So bottom line is it allows the carriers and brokers to book appointments right into the schedule for the warehouse. The second bullet there is, is critical and that it allows the warehouses to control the, the flow of trucks coming in. So you see this phenomenon quite often with warehouses um, where a bunch of trucks all show up at the same time. Um, we, we've had this recently with a, with a client that every Monday morning they would have 50 trucks lined up um, at opening time. This was a, a beer distributor and it was just a nightmare for the trucks having to wait and the warehouse staff. So <clears throat> when they implemented open dock, that problem went away. Um, they were able to control the flow of trucks um, in that every truck at that point going forward had an appointment time. So there was no need to show up way in advance and to wait. Um, so that's one thing that open dock gives you is that ability to control the flow of trucks throughout the day, throughout the week, or even beyond that. Third bullet there is, uh, is visibility. So um, <clears throat> warehouse staff now have complete visibility into all the arrivals for trucks because every truck has an appointment. Um, so whether it's management staff, clerical staff, um, staff right in the warehouse doing the loading and unloading, they'll be able to see exactly what the schedule is for the day. So it provides that very clear visibility. And then the, the last bullet there, and Hunter's going to touch on this a little bit um, in that it just simplifies the communication process. So a major problem in scheduling a load today is the back and forth of emails, phone calls, text messages, um, multiple over a period of time. So th this is a process where time is of the essence. You know, booking a time for a load is, is time critical. Um, and the current process is not, not very efficient. So the, the new process that OpenDoc provides um, eliminates the need for this back and forth of emailing, phone calling, text messaging to try to schedule a load. So that's how OpenDoc works. Very cool. Thanks, Bob. Cool. So let's talk a little bit about uh, LoadSmart's role in this partnership. Uh, the first piece of, of what we have to add here is focused on visibility. Uh, we believe that it's essential that we have a good understanding of the location of the truck throughout the life cycle of the shipment. And we're pretty agnostic as to how we provide that uh, uh, visibility and how to how we capture the truck location. So we're uh, eager to share the truck location wherever the customer prefers, whether that's directly into their TMS, uh, if they want to come check our website to see that, or if they want us to push it through Four Kites, Project 44, uh, Macro Point, or any of the other services out there, we're, we're integrated with everybody. And on the carrier side, we're, uh, we've invested a lot to make sure that we can capture that information 
in whatever format is most convenient for the carrier. So if they want to download our app, they can do that. But we also are integrated with ELD providers and with uh, all sorts of other solution providers on the carrier side to be able to grab that truck location from wherever it's easiest for the carrier to share it with us. But the thing with visibility is that there's been a lot of talk about visibility uh, in the last few years in the transportation space. The question that folks who are maybe thinking a little more critically about it often ask is why does that matter, right? And sometimes it can feel like uh, uh, you know an executive has gotten used to being able to see the Domino's pizza being prepared over the weekend and, and wonders why they can't get the same thing with their FTL shipments. And that nothing more than the expectations that have been set on the consumer side is driving this demand for visibility. But what are shippers, carriers, brokers actually doing with the visibility data? Is it just another selling point? Are we just ticking a box or are we actually using that data valuably? Uh, and I think a lot of the value of our partnership with OpenDoc is that we're able to leverage that data to drive efficiencies through the lifecycle to ship. And we're excited to talk a little bit more about that. What else does LoadSmart provide to this partnership? We provide to our customers and uh, and to, to customers who are also customers of OpenDoc as part of this partnership, the 100% guarantee that we will fulfill the load. So there are plenty of folks out there who can give you a rate. Uh, a load smart rate is always instantly bookable, and we will always accept 100% of the loads tendered over at that rate as long as that rate is valid. So we do want to provide that guarantee, that confidence uh, that load smart will stand behind the load. And throughout the uh, process from beginning to end, from rate request all the way through to the load being delivered, uh, we will uh, uh, connect in real time to the customer and to the carrier uh, wherever possible using uh, uh, systems-based integration, integrating with the customer's TMS, with the carrier TMS, uh, and, and, and otherwise leveraging web portals and web interfaces in order to provide everything we can in real time so that you're not left waiting for hours for a response. And in doing so, we believe that we can save a lot of money. An example of the way that we do that is by preventing loads from going to the spot market by inserting real-time rates directly into the customer's routing guide. So we're integrated with a whole bunch of, of TMSs, uh, uh, among them uh, Oracle, uh, BlueJay, uh, MercuryGate, and several uh, TMSs that target smaller shippers. Uh, examples include uh, Cubix and technology, where uh, we are able to take the customer's routing guide, which is normally a static process of uh, leveraging rates that have been logged in advance, usually as part of an annual RFP when you capture those backup rates and you put them in your TMS, and take that static routing guide and make it a dynamic routing guide by inserting real-time rates directly into the routing guide, and in doing so, provide the customer with dynamic capacity and real-time pricing so they can take advantage of market conditions, and in doing that, reduce the number of loads that, that go to spot. So that's a little bit on our, our overall value and, and kind of what we aim to bring to this partnership with, with OpenDoc. Let's go a little deeper uh, on what lies behind it. So to talk first a little bit about LoadSmart in general, LoadSmart is a technology company automating how full truckload and intermodal freight is priced, shipped, and tracked. Um, so a lot of our focus is on taking these uh, processes which have in the past been very manual and trying to find ways to do them in a more efficient, more automated way. And I want to be very clear that our goal in automation is not to try to replace logistics professionals or to try to undercut the role that the people working every day tirelessly in this industry play. It's in fact focused on recognizing that a huge amount of the time that any logistics professional spends during the day ends up being burned up by uh, small tasks and little issues that pop up, which aren't really necessarily their core responsibility and aren't even necessarily deserving of their time and attention, but just have to get solved either way. So our focus is on trying to find opportunities to make the entire process more efficient by taking tasks and, and, and responsibilities that really could be better done by a system and automating those in order not only to improve uh, the shipper's uh, uh, procurement and the carrier experience, but also wherever possible to try to free up time and, and, and uh, space for logistics professionals to focus more of their time and energy on tasks that really deserve their attention. So going a little deeper on that, we can talk a little bit about why it is specifically that we decided to, to partner with, with uh, OpenDoc. And, and I can kick this off and then Bob, you're, you're, it would be great to, for you to chime in as well. But I think from LoadSmart's perspective, uh, we have believed for a long time that scheduling is much more complicated than it needs to be, but more importantly, that the uh, limitations of the way that scheduling has been done in the past are the cause of a couple of issues. First of all, they cause uh, the LoadSmart team to have to spend a lot more time than we would like to manually going back and forth with folks at the facility to try to understand appointment availability. They also have a negative impact on our ability to secure capacity 
because if we don't have those appointments locked in, we can't go to a carrier and, and see if they're a good fit for the load because they need to understand how the timing of the pickup or delivery is going to relate to their, their existing schedule. So that blocks our ability to get out to the carrier side of the market as quickly as possible once we have a load to make sure we can get it covered. But we think most importantly, it is so often the cause of wasted time and stress of the driver and the folks working at the facility, but particularly on the driver side where drivers are waiting much longer than they need to be to get into and get out of the facility. And we believe that being smarter about appointments improves driver experience, improves the experience for the folks working at the facility, uh, and allows us to more accurately and, and, and effectively secure capacity to move freight on time and at a more competitive rate for our customers. Good. Well said. So if you want to jump on, Matt, to the next slide. So where do we come at this from? We come at this honestly from the perspective that appointment scheduling has been has operated the same way for far too long, that too much time is consumed on the phone, in emails, going back and forth between uh, uh, the, the, the folks at the facility, the folks who have a good understanding of the product availability, the folks who can manage the, uh, the docs and their availability, the carrier, the dispatcher, the driver, the customer, and potentially the, 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 you know, the vendor that's involved on the other side of the transaction. All of that back and forth between all of these different uh, 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 players just in order to secure the right time for a truck to, to enter a, a facility. It feels like way too much effort and we are confident that all of the folks who are engaged in that effort would much rather be spending their time and their energy uh, dealing with real more complicated, difficult challenges, especially around exception management, rather than just managing the day-to-day -day of, of actually scheduling the appointments themselves. So we believe that that lack of automation uh, provides a suboptimal experience really for everybody involved. But most importantly, it also results in unpredictable performance. The number of times that a load is late to pick up and late to deliver, or sometimes both, as a result of confusion, complexity with scheduling the appointment, is just, it's, it's remarkable. And it's not a function of a driver being unexpectedly early or late. It's a function of a rigid, inefficient, uh, uh, high calorie system that requires way too much effort to accomplish way too simple a task. And through all of that effort, it creates space for confusion. It creates space for mistakes to be made. And those mistakes, unfortunately, result in just incountable, innumerable hours of driver time being wasted uh, uh, through unnecessary waiting over the course of the year. So when we looked at the situation, just as, just as OpenDoc did, we felt very strongly that it just can't keep working like this, that there has to be a better way. So Hunter, one, one thing I like about the integration and the partnership with LoadSmart is you guys have really used technology to solve this problem. Um, whereas it started off with, you know, potentially hours to make an appointment through phone calling or emailing, again, for something that where time is of the essence. Um, and then with OpenDoc, we took it a step farther um, and that now the carrier broker can book the appointment, but it's still a couple minutes to do that. What LoadSmart has done is they've removed the human being from that process. Mm -hmm. And so now something that we had gotten down to a couple minutes is now a couple seconds. Um, and it does it even better because it's using AI and automation to actually book that appointment. So uh, it's it's beneficial to all, as you noted, um, in that we can get this down to just a couple moments. Absolutely. We like to think of ourselves as the nerdiest freight broker you'll ever meet. And uh, so that's that's definitely our approach to these things. And as we dig in a little bit to the nuts and bolts of it, I think, Bob, to the point you were just making, it really is remarkable. And, and, this, and the scenario that you see laid out here is not, you know, we didn't pick the worst possible case. This is anyone, anyone who's, who's working in the industry and, and who, who has to deal with these challenges day to day will look at this flow in this slide and say, yeah, that's, that's pretty reasonable. That happens to me on, on a day to day basis, right? So the, the carrier or the 3PL reaching out to the facility tries to get an appointment for the time that they know is going to be best for their driver. Unfortunately, the facility gets back to them and again, gets back to them. It could be a couple minutes, it could be a couple hours, could be a day before they hear back. Uh, not because the folks at the facility you know, are, 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 are sitting around having a cup of coffee, but because they're busy and swamped with existing issues, partly or a lot of which are a result of the inefficiency of the system itself. But when you finally do hear back, they say, listen, I'm sorry, there isn't an appointment uh, uh, available at that time tomorrow. Uh, you know, what, what, what else, what else is going to work for you? Then, okay, well, let's try for nine. Okay. Nine works. Great. The challenge is that loads don't just have to pick up. They also have to be delivered. So now we're going to repeat that entire process again, having already gone back and forth and back and forth. We're now going to repeat that exercise 
uh, with the second facility, the delivery facility. And if this is a multi-stop shipment, we're going to have to, of course, repeat this exercise for every single facility along the way, right? So again, here we go. We expect the driver to arrive at seven. Is there availability for an appointment at seven? No, unfortunately, we can get you in at nine, though. Okay, I guess I'll take nine. Confirm the appointment. And only now uh, can we begin to identify exactly, uh, from a broker perspective, can we reach out to the carrier side and say, okay, great, what, what carrier is going to be the best fit for this load based on these appointment times? Uh, and so if you think about all of these interactions, right, these eight interactions back and forth in order just to secure appointments for a single load, the amount of, of effort that then goes into moving every load that's moving for a carrier or a broker uh, every single day is really remarkable. And remember, this is a perfect scenario. This is a scenario where there were no exceptions, there were no issues, and, and things more or less uh, went as planned. But as we'll see in the in the next slide, uh, this this crazy you know eight emails which can be spread over 18 hours is really just the the, the tip of uh, the iceberg. But it's also just the beginning of the opportunity. And the reason that we think of it that way is that artificial intelligence is fundamentally changing how we select and how we book uh, uh, the appointment. And this is something that you know LoadSmart is very proud to be honest to take advantage of, and to be taking advantage of the opportunities that OpenDoc and their technology and their network provide us. Uh, because it's 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 good not just for our customers and for our carriers. It's not just about uh, getting better rates, better service, and reducing driver wait time critically. It's also good for LoadSmart because it makes us more efficient, makes us faster, and allows us to move more uh, with less. So let's get into the nuts and bolts of, of how uh, we're able to use technology and our partnership with uh, OpenDoc to, to make this a little bit better. So the first step is trying to identify when is the best appointment that we can get. And this shouldn't just be about us. It should also be about the facility, right? So as part of that, we need to have a good understanding of what are the facility hours and what is the expected transit time of this load. So when is the driver, or what, if, if we know in advance, when is the driver going to be available? If we don't, what is typically an ideal uh, pickup time based on the standard schedule uh, of an over-the-road driver, especially for uh, carriers who are out there you know, for hire working for a lot of different shippers, there's usually a rhythm that they try to stick to. And, and over time and by analyzing a lot of data, we've noticed those patterns to try to define what's a good appointment. Uh, and also, have we seen historically for a given facility, for a given lane, is there a tendency where a given appointment time actually results in better service, results in more on-time performance? So if we have that kind of data on past performance, on generic carrier preference, and on the facility's uh, hours of service and availability, all of which we invest a lot in capturing and storing, we're able to apply artificial intelligence to decide what would be the best or the optimal appointment that we can go for. And then from there, we're able to take this integration and reach out to the facility, not over the phone or not over email, but automatically system to system to see what appointment availability there is. So as we jump to the next slide, we're gonna see a little bit more detail uh, on exactly uh, uh, the opportunity that, that, that this creates. So let's take an example where uh, a driver is uh, rolling along at 10 a.m. and it looks like uh, they're on track for their 2 p.m. appointment, right? So this is a short haul, let's say it's a four hour transit. Uh, unfortunately, at, at noon, uh, we understand that the trucker gets a, a flat tire and that the delay is an expected two hours. Now, we're going to be alerted to this delay through our, our direct integration, uh, uh, whether it's the driver using our app or if it's an integration with the carrier system. So we can get that information really, really quickly. But the powerful thing again, and this is where folks talk so much about tracking, they talk about load visibility. But the question that we ask is, what are you actually doing with that tracking data? What are you using that for? Are you just ticking a box or are you leveraging that data to make your system, your network, and the carrier experience better? So our view is that by partnering with OpenDoc and by having an integration with the facility, we can, in a matter not of minutes or hours, but in a matter of seconds, understand what availability there is at that appointment for a time that is now closer to that, that new ETA. So we expect a two-hour delay. That original 2 p.m. arrival is no longer realistic. So, but what we can do automatically in seconds is ping the facility system to system through our partnership and integration with OpenDoc, which makes this possible, see what appointment availability there is. We see that 4 p.m. appointment. That's great. Original time it was, it was two, two hour estimated delay. That 4 p.m. appointment suits us great. And in doing that, we're able to instantly and immediately update that appointment to more accurately reflect the real uh, ETA of the driver. Now, that isn't just about securing a better 4 p.m. appointment and in doing so, massively reducing driver wait time. And again, anyone who works in the industry day to day has had plenty of experiences of a driver who got there a little bit earlier or a little bit later than planned and then is stuck for hours waiting to be worked in because they happen to miss a given uh, appointment 
often through no fault of their own, right? So that's a terrible experience and that and that and those wasted driver hours are really inexcusable. So combating that is a top priority. But if you think about it, these things are all interconnected and a lot of the problems that exist in the facility are tied to each other. So in this example, that 2 p.m. appointment that we had, that didn't just disappear, we gave that back. So let's imagine that there was a truck that was supposed to be getting in there at 4 p.m., but actually they're arriving two hours early. Now that 2 p.m. appointment is available for that truck so they can get worked in at a better time that's closer to their real-time ETA. And we believe that in the aggregate, this doesn't just benefit LoadSmart uh, or, or, or the carrier we're working with, it actually benefits the broader ecosystem, right, of, of carriers and, and the folks working at the facility because you create this flexibility to reflect the real-time location and movement of all of the trucks that are entering or leaving a facility on a given day. When you consider that a lot of these appointments are usually getting booked several days out, of course things are going to change. If you know anything about logistics, you know that nothing stays uh, exactly or nothing goes exactly to plan. So having a system that's responsive, that can say, hey, it isn't just about what we agreed on four days ago, it's also about the reality right now and making the best of whatever situation we're in and doing that in an automated way that doesn't require phone calls, that doesn't require emails, but instead has systems talking to systems so that the folks who are on the phone with the driver, the dispatcher, the shipper, they can all be managing the complexity of, hey, if this load is going to deliver late, what impact does that have on the shipper? What impact does that have on the carrier? That can all be managed. That's something where we need people engaged and having conversations. But rescheduling an appointment, no, that's something that the system should take care of itself. And the integration with OpenDoc gives us the ability to do that automatically on the back end without anybody having to intervene or, or manage that and help uh, reduce that driver wait time, reduce that risk of the driver getting stuck at the facility, and also improve the throughput through the facility in general by giving back the appointment we don't need and making that available for someone who does. So Hunter, just to kind of continue with that thought, um, it's highly inefficient. The, the entire supply chain tends to be quite inefficient. Um, and what, what we're doing together is taking care of some of that efficiency, improving some of that uh, lack of efficiency. Um, if you think about the millions of appointments every month that are being booked and that process of back and forth, the time that it takes, um, and cutting that down to moments or um, time that doesn't even involve a human being, that's significant across the entire supply chain. So like you noted, everybody benefits when that happens. And um, the overall problem of how time consuming it is, not just to book, but also to reschedule, as you noted, it's not insignificant. It's a lot of time that it takes. And by, by giving the players back that time, it makes a very, very big difference. Absolutely. So what are the benefits? Uh, and, and I'm sure from you know, what, what, what Bob and I've explained so far, it's, it's, it's pretty clear that, uh, uh, that there's a lot of upside to be gained here. Uh, and, and again, you know, critically at no one's expense, right? This isn't a zero sum game where we make something better by, by having a negative impact on something else. This is just about removing waste and inefficiency from the system and, and in doing that, improving everybody's experience. But uh, you know, we don't wanna be vague about it. Let's get to the nuts and bolts of, of exactly uh, what is the impact, what's the upside of, of uh, uh, leveraging uh, technology, uh, the technology technology that OpenDoc has built, the technology that LoadSmart has built to actually drive results in the scheduling space. And the first one, the most obvious one, is that it improves on-time service. So by better uh, uh, securing optimal appointment times and by better managing the appointment times that are available, you significantly improve the chance of a load delivering on time. Folks who are engaged in this day-to-day -day will tell you that the number one predictor of an on-time delivery is an on-time pickup. Makes sense, right? So the ability to manage and correctly set an on-time uh, uh, pickup appointment that gives you that highest likelihood of delivering on time is absolutely critical. The difference between picking up much later versus much earlier in the day on the likelihood of when that load is going to deliver, even several days later, is significant, right? The driver's hours of service are limited, so there's limited flexibility in terms of managing once you are too late to pick up. So finding that optimal uh, uh, pickup time that's going to maximize your chance of an on-time delivery into the ultimate facility is critical to improving the shipper experience and maximizing the likelihood of, of that on-time pickup. And again, it's not just about being smart about calculating transit time and making sure that you secure an appointment that's optimal relative to that transit time. It's also about leveraging historical data on at what times have drivers been stuck at facilities for longer? At what times have we found the easiest throughput through a facility? and making sure that we're leveraging all of the historical data, everything that we know about a given facility, about a given lane, about the requirements for a given shipment to make the best possible decision about what appointment time we want. Not just, hey, this is the one that I normally book or this is the one that I normally email, but having that artificial intelligence behind it to be constantly analyzing and optimizing to make sure that we pick the best possible appointment time to maximize the likelihood of that on-time delivery. 
So the second point is that it's about reducing rates. And this can seem kind of counterintuitive. So, you know, hang on, what these guys are talking about scheduling, they're talking about appointments, what, what, where, how do rates come into it? But the interesting thing is that we have found that on, uh, for, for loads, picking up from the same facility, delivering to the same facility or nearby, right? So where it's, it's, it's two loads moving on the same lane with the same pickup date, we see as much as a 14% difference in how much we have to pay a carrier to move a load depending entirely on the appointment time we're able to secure. And if you think about it from the carrier perspective, that makes sense because if we're able to secure an appointment time that's optimal relative to when the driver is gonna get empty from their previous load, then we minimize the amount of time that the driver has to sit and wait to pick up that next load. And of course, time is money, so the driver expects to be paid whether they're waiting or whether they're hauling freight. So if you're gonna make the driver wait for that time in between, the carrier has gotta find a way to make up that cost. So they're gonna charge you more for that suboptimal appointment time because the driver's gonna have to be waiting in between. If, however, you are able to secure an appointment time that is optimized for when that driver is gonna be available, that we know we have high confidence is gonna be a great uh, fit for our carrier network in terms of the best time for them to pick up and maximize their efficiency and keep their OR in mind. Not just think about ourselves, not just think about the shipper, but think about the carrier, think about what's best for them and how we can help them run more efficiently. By doing that and by being smarter about getting those better appointment times that are gonna be more efficient, more valuable for the carrier, the carrier is able to offer us a lower rate, not because they're giving us a discount, not because we're, we're squeezing them on their, on their margin, but because we're helping them be more efficient. We're helping them use those driver hours and, and, and use that asset better. And in doing so, they're able to offer a lower rate simply because it becomes a more efficient process for them. And it, this is, you know, these are often double digit differences between loads picking up on the same day, going to the same destination, uh, uh, where the only difference is, is a good versus a really bad appointment time. And anyone who's worked in carrier sales or who's tried to uh, uh, get a carrier to accept a load will tell you that they know for sure that question that comes in, okay, great, what's, you know, what are the appointment times? What have you got locked in? That can be the difference between agreeing to move a load and not, even when the carrier was already otherwise interested in the freight. Oh, sorry, I can't move that. That appointment time doesn't work for my driver, right? So it is a huge factor as it turns out in pricing. It may seem counterintuitive, but scheduling and rates are really closely connected and being smarter about scheduling means not just making the carrier more efficient, but it means saving the shipper money. Finally, and of course, you know, this makes sense based on everything we've said so far, it's about working better with carriers. It's about maximizing the effectiveness of the driver's hours. Nobody wants to be sitting waiting at a facility when they don't have to be. It's not good for the facility, but it's definitely not good for the driver. It is a waste of their time. And we have to, we absolutely have to be respectful and all of us grateful for the effort that these drivers put in every single day. And as part of all of our work, we have to consciously be looking for ways to improve that driver experience, not just through amenities, not just through making it more comfortable for them to be at a facility. What does it say when we've got to a point when it's about, hey, you know, where, where can I make you most comfortable while you spend too long waiting? People wonder, well, does this facility have, you know, a good sofa? Does it have good TV? That's important information because the time the driver does have to spend in the facility, of course, we want them to be comfortable. But man, rather than making them more comfortable for hours that they shouldn't be waiting, let's let them do what they would rather be doing, which is actually rolling and moving that freight forward. Let's focus not just on making them more comfortable while they waste their time. Let's focus on being more respectful of their time so that they're not wasting it in the first place, getting them into the facility faster getting them out of the facility faster and allowing them to get on with their jobs and get to where they want to be rather than forcing them to waste hours waiting to get worked in, uh, waiting to get into the facility in the first place. And of course, simultaneously, creating a terrible experience for the folks working at the facility. The driver understandably is gonna ask, is gonna push, is gonna wanna be worked in. That creates stress for the folks on the other side too, right? For the dock workers and the folks who are, who are managing the facility itself. But primarily we're very focused on that driver experience and making sure that we are as respectful as possible of their time, getting them in and getting them out as quickly as possible and leveraging this integration as we showed in the previous example, right? Updating that appointment in real time without even asking the driver. They tell us their new ETA, great. That means that's when you're getting the facility. It's on us to make sure that we can secure an appointment for you that's as close to that new real ETA as possible rather than telling you, oh, hey man, I'm sorry. I booked a different appointment four days ago. Now you've got to sit there for six hours and wait, right? So it's about being very thoughtful, very conscious of that driver experience and, and minimizing those wasted hours, which of course, have a knock-on effect on, on, on the amount that we pay for the load and the efficiency of the overall network, which is really what we're trying to improve. So here, I'm gonna kick it over to Bob and talk a little bit more, although uh, hopefully there isn't too much to say because it is so easy to get this set up about 
about uh, what exactly it takes uh, for uh, for folks to get set up with everything that we've talked about so far. Yeah, so Hunter, I can talk about um, on the Open Doc side, and then you can cover on the, on the Load Smart side um, how how it's enabled. But <clears throat> with Open Doc, it's it's very simple. Um, so if there's a shipper interested, um, they would just go to OpenDoc.com. There's a a way to quickly set up a demo. So that's the first step. We want to demonstrate the software, um, how it would work for your specific situation, because not every warehouse runs the exact same way. So we want to make sure that can um, indeed help you in what you're trying to do and show you how that's done. <clears throat> Once that process is over, it looks like it's going to be a good fit. We have an onboarding team that will get the account set up, um, get all the users trained. And it's a very quick process. Um, a motivated warehouse could be live in a day. Um, it's software as a service, so it's all web-based. So all that's really needed is a computer, tablet, um, mobile phone with an internet connection. Um, so <clears throat> it can be um, set up and optimized as fast as a warehouse wants to move. And then also, um, if it is a organization that has multiple warehouses, uh, same sort of thing. <clears throat> uh, we would train the individuals at each warehouse on how to use it. If there's any sort of user guides, need, guides needed, we would uh, help with that as well. And uh, again, it can be set up as quickly as a warehouse or a group of warehouses would like to move. Awesome. So if we can jump to the next slide, we'll begin to get a little bit more into the nuts and bolts of, of exactly uh, mm -hmm. how we do this. So uh, I think the first question here is imagining that someone is an existing LoadSmart and an Open Dot customer. So let's jump through what the process is to get them uh, uh, set up. So the first thing we want to do is to have you reach out to your LoadSmart account executive to make sure that we have that integration enabled and that's something that they are doing all the time and can do very, very quickly. Then the next step is uh, if folks want to uh, uh, do here a little bit more uh, about LoadSmart, go ahead, Matt, we can jump uh, right through there. Um, then we can uh, give them a chance if they want to. You're welcome to sign up at loadsmart.com uh, or uh, you're more than welcome to email us uh, to sales at, at loadsmart.com. Uh, if you're an existing uh, uh, Open Doc customer or if you're interested in both uh, uh, LoadSmart and Open Doc, uh, then very helpfully here uh, we can encourage you please to go to opendoc.com uh, for the easiest uh, sign up process in the doc scheduling industry. Uh, and of course, uh, you can feel free to shoot uh, the Open Doc sales team an email as well at sales at opendoc.com. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Uh, we definitely had some questions come in while you were presenting. Um, so I think this is definitely a pretty interesting topic uh, to the folks who attended. A um, couple questions. Uh, Hunter, I think the first one goes to you. Um, uh, is this free? I think I think some people were confused as to whether this is an additional cost or if it's included. Could you just talk through that for a sec? It is 100% free. Uh, donations are welcome, of course, but uh, but the service is available uh, for no extra charge. We we think that uh, uh, we believe that making the experience better for drivers and adding efficiency to the network and to the market is really what you know a broker should be doing. It's not just about squeezing folks for margins. It's about making more efficient connections and improving the flow of freight and improving driver experience. And and we don't think it makes sense to be charging extra for something that really should be. Uh, 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 part of the service that's expected and that we, what we should be delivering to the market anyway as part of our core function. So we, we don't charge for the service. Got it. Thank you. Uh, another question, and this might be, I think this is for you as well, Hunter, um, and maybe Bob can touch on it. I think we did speak on it a little bit, but maybe we could kind of do the, the Cliff Notes version for this. Uh, I think we spent a lot of time talking on the shipper side. Could you just kind of elaborate more so on the carrier side? Like what are kind of those core benefits for like how this benefits a carrier? Uh, how does this make their life better? Absolutely. So by getting a better appointment in the first place, we uh, make sure that the appointment for that pickup and delivery are as close as possible to what we believe is going to be a good fit for the carrier based on what's planned in advance. And then by updating that uh, appointment in real time based on the driver's location, without the driver having to reach out to us and ask us to do so, but just leveraging that location, that tracking data, to constantly be updating their ETA and comparing their ETA to their scheduled arrival at the pickup or the delivery facility, we're able to see, is there a gap? Hey, if they were, if they were booked in to get in at 2 p.m., but it looks like they're going to get in at 9 a.m., let's see if we can get them an earlier appointment. Let's not make them show up early and then wait. Let's see if we can get them worked in earlier, but not do this in a way that adds work for the facility and for everybody else by picking up the phone and emailing, 
but instead leveraging this automated system so that all of this happens automatically in the background. We and the whole market have put a lot of pressure on carriers to provide that visibility, that location, that tracking data. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? We owe it to carriers to actually use that data for something valuable. And in this particular case, it's about using that uh, tracking data to figure out a, a good, accurate, real-time ETA, compare that ETA to the appointment. And if there's a gap, if it looks like they're going to get there earlier or later, making sure that we do our absolute best to get them an appointment time that reflects their, their actual estimated time of arrival. Yep. Yeah, and I would say, um, you know, with regard to, to carrier benefits, it's, it's what Hunter noted. So um, reducing wait times. Um, and a lot of that is because of the planning that a carrier or driver can do if they know an appointment time, and whether it's planning for a particular day, a couple of days, or even a week, um, because you know the, the carrier and the driver, they're making money when the truck is moving, um, not when it's waiting. So from a benefit standpoint, everything that Load Smart is doing with this integration and adding automation is helping that process. Perfect. A uh, couple questions for, uh, I think the next one's for you, Bob. Um, OpenDoc team, are there plans to extend this further? Uh, specifically, they, they don't see it working, they see it more so focused on uh, truckload carriers, but just kind of curious, um, what are your plans for kind of extending this? Um, so a lot of a lot of what's happening right now is uh, that we're focusing on our API. Um, our API is what uh, what is allowing this integration with LoadSmart to work. And um, the, the holy grail, which LoadSmart is getting close to, is complete automation, um, where there is no human involved in the process. Um, with regard to expanding, um, yeah, there are definitely some some thoughts that we have on how to take this a step further. Um, but it's it's through companies, partners with Load Smart that really we we get to where we want to be, uh, and that is we don't want to be a Load Smart. We want to be experts at scheduling, and be the absolute best in the world at that piece, um, and then work with Load Smart and possibly some others to make sure that that technology is being utilized along with other additional technologies to really help the overall supply chain. Awesome. Yeah, and just to emphasize, not, none of what we described would be possible without facilities adopting that open doc solution, right? So if the facility doesn't give us the ability to wire in to see those uh, available appointments uh, uh, automatically via API, via an integration with the open doc system, then all of what we just described has to be done manually. And of course, we do that, right? We do everything we can to improve the, the flow uh, uh, and, and, and optimize appointments for all the loads that we move. But it's just so much harder, so much slower, and therefore so much less likely to succeed uh, when facilities aren't using a, a, a solution like the, the, the one that OpenDoc has built. Got it. Um, one last question, or I think we have time for one last question. Uh, this one's trying to get a better understanding of kind of the footprint of facilities uh, that uh, we can integrate with. Um, so uh, I, this is probably for both, right? Uh, Bob, just to get an under, understanding of kind of what the OpenDoc footprint looks like. And then Hunter, uh, maybe to you, uh, you know, what percentage of those, you know, can we integrate with all of them, a percentage of them, kind of what does that look like? Uh, you want to take it first, Bob? Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, again, the API allows integration with, you know, pretty much any system that that would accept an API type of integration. Um, you know, physically footprint, um, as I noted, computer, tablet, um, mobile phone, but oftentimes what we see is, um, Warehouses will actually put a monitor by every dock, and that actually shows those individuals working that dock the exact schedule for the day. Um, that's not a requirement. Um, that's just another efficiency item that some warehouses use. But overall, from a technology footprint standpoint, it's it's very simplistic in that, um, as I noted, all you really need is an internet connection, um, and you can access it from anywhere, whether you're at the warehouse from a remote office, like a lot of us <laughs> have right now, um, you can still see complete visibility into all of your docs. Awesome. And then the answer from our side, Matt, is that we are able to integrate with 100% of the facilities on uh, uh, OpenDoc. Um, we are, you know, in the process of, of adding uh, platforms primarily where we already have a TMS integration, and some customers use the same provider as their TMS to also do uh, a doc management. And we do want to be integrated with as many providers as possible, but we also feel strongly that no one has uh, has built a network that's as efficient and, and as smart and as easy to connect to as as what the OpenDoc team have built. And uh, that's really what makes it possible for us to connect to 100% of the facilities that are on the OpenDoc network. 
Awesome. Well, with that, uh, I think we just have one minute to say thank you uh, for everyone who joined us today. We hope that uh, the content was uh, valuable and that you, you were able to learn something. Uh, if we did not get to your question, do not worry. Uh, we will follow up, uh, whether it's someone from the LoadSmart team or OpenDoc. Uh, and if you asked a question, we'll probably touch base just to make sure that we answered it correctly and you, uh, you got a, the right answer. Uh, thanks again for joining us today. Uh, if you have any questions, I, I put Hunter and Bob's uh, direct contact information right below. Uh, and uh, feel free to reach out if you have additional questions. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great rest of your day. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.